hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in so i'm back with another video and today's video is a what's in my hospital bag so i did the baby's hospital bag already i will link it somewhere up here so you guys can check it out and i did pack that bag i think i was 37 38 weeks so as i'm talking to you guys like as i'm filming this video now i am officially 40 weeks pregnant already two centimeter diluted so she might come tonight she might come tomorrow i'm not sure so i was just busy finalizing everything and i just remembered that i never filmed my hospital bag i only filmed the baby's hospital bag which i will have it link up here and also i will link it in the description box below so you guys can check it out so for my bag i'm taking this bag that i got from mr price they call them uh travel bags but they're kind of like gym bags you just have like one big compartment and a little pocket here which you can store some stuff so i do have some stuff in here which i'm not gonna show you guys it's basically our ids for the home affairs because you supposed to bring both your ids like the mom and the dad f to fill up the home affairs information for the birth certificate and also i think i have a black pen and i also have some cash in here and my cards as well and so now for the big part of the bag i have this toiletry bag i think i got this toiletry bag it's either from avon or justin i've had this toiletry bag for i think about two three years so it does have like three pockets so for the first pocket here on top I just have some panty liners. I only took like five panty liners because I can't go a day without these panty liners. I've been using them like throughout my whole pregnancy. And I also packed some breast pads. I'm not sure if my milk will come, but I've been leaking since like 30 weeks. So I'm thinking my milk will definitely come. So I just packed some breast pads. And that's it for this top pocket here and then i didn't pack anything on this front one and then for the main pocket of my toiletry bag the first thing i have here is this disposable maternity briefs i got them from clicks so immediately after i give birth i'll probably use this ones instead of my underwears but i did pack some underwears as well so these are just disposable briefs you can just use them and take them and throw them into the trash so as for my toiletries, I didn't buy like travel size stuff. I just took my everyday toiletries from the bathroom and put them in here. So in here I have my face wash, which is this African Extract Roy Boss face wash. And I also have the same African Extract Roy Boss moisturizer. So I have this too. And I'm not taking any makeup. So for face products, I'm only taking my face wash and my moisturizer. And then for my body moisturizer, I'm taking my everyday lotion, which is this Vaseline Intense intensive care for dry skin repair so I have this and then I am taking my deodorant which is the ladies bit stick and I'm also taking some Vaseline petroleum jelly because I've been dry like throughout my whole pregnancy and I'll also be using this to moisturize my lips because I've heard that you do get really really dry and I'm also taking this nipple cream which is from clicks and my nipples have been dry my whole like third trimester so i'll be taking this and i'm also taking like a comb because i have my natural hair and i'm not taking a wig and then i just took one of the toothpaste that we have in the bathroom and i also took a new toothbrush because i'm 100 percent sure i will forget my everyday toothbrush so that's it for my toiletries that i'm taking to the hospital and now going back into my big bag, I have a packet of this Cortex Maxi Pads. I know that the hospital do provide maternity pads, but I'd rather use my own. So I'm just taking one packet of this Cortex Maxi Pads and there's about 16 of them in here. And I'm also taking two sports bras. These are from Mr. Price. These are like my favorite, favorite sports bras. So they have like adjustable straps which will make it easy to nest and they are like stretchy, they are not padded. Like I can sleep in this so they are like my favorite favorite sports bras. So I will be taking two of these. And then I also packed like two knickers, nothing special. 
and I have some slippers to walk around in the hospital. I've got this from Mr. Price as well. So they're just like simple slip on slippers. And I also have a pair of black socks. And I packed like two night dresses. So the first one is from Akamens, which is just like a t shirt kind of night dress. So I will probably wear this one before she's born. And the second one is this one that I got from Mr. Price, which is more like a dress and it's like stretchy. So I thought this one would work better for breastfeeding because it also has like adjustable straps and you can pull out the boob easily. So I just have these two night dresses that I'm taking with. And I'm also taking this robe, which is like a navy blue robe with like hearts everywhere. And it's a short sleeve robe because it's like super duper hot. So I will be able to put this one on top of the night dresses if I am walking around the hospital. And then for my coming home outfit, I just have this long maxi dress that I got from Mr. Price as well. It's like a purple, super duper long mixed dress. It's stretchy. I don't want to pack like any leggings or any pants. I haven't been wearing leggings for like the past two months. I do wear pants sometimes, but they're like super loose pants. So I didn't want to take any sort of pants or anything. I just took like this mixed dress. And I also packed like this long black cardigan from Mr. Price also for in case if it's cold can just put this on and so yeah that's everything i'm taking to the hospital i'm going to repack it properly like i said i'm 40 weeks i'm not sure when she's coming she might come tonight she might come tomorrow i don't know and i'll see you guys soon hopefully with the baby on my arms so yeah if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on my next one bye